Bros. Here we are, we're back with Bertie Bus. And I've got a list of stuff I need to be doing body work, some welding underneath, some other bits and pieces. But as we went camping the other week, we had no electrical hookup. So we got on fine. But the thing we, we really needed was just to keep our phones charged, really, and obviously my little cameras for filming. So I bought myself a little solar kit just wired it up here to test it got this old stand what was someone gave me and I've converted it to fit me solar panel on so that I can just direct that into the Sun and tighten it up and leave it because obviously as you know the Sun moves around and you get your best power from direct sunlight I've just set it up I unpacked it I didn't want to do an unpack and all that rubbish um, as you can see at the moment it's got a load on because I just charged my phone but turn that off and that uh, green light there means it's charging and those indicators are there are how charged my battery are yep I bought myself a leisure battery what I was going to do was use the leisure battery just for some lights charge a phone and just leave it at that and just recharge it when we get home or whatever because I'm sure that would charge your phone up a few times but then I thought hang on if I connect to a solar charge up during the day I might be able to run my little vip, um, little chill box I've got a little cool box would keep stuff cool obviously and that runs on 12 volts so I thought I might give that a go run that off the battery and see how we get on obviously at night time that'll just be taking the juice out of the battery but what I'm thinking probably switch it off at night so I'm going to leave it outside so it'll be cold anyway and then during the day with the solar panels connected to keep the battery topped up to keep the little cool box running that's the plan eh so like I say, I've set this up just to test that everything's worked. I've uh, charged my phone. It's got another power outlet, which I shall use for some lighting. The 12 volt for the cool box will come straight off them battery terminals. But this, like I say, it's just basic setup to check everything was working. So now I'm thinking where to put it in the van. And one of the places I was thinking, up here is my battery charger, what I try can plug in the mains or when we're on electric hookup I'll just switch it on and keeps me battery top, topped up but that's my main battery I could also switch it across to charge up this um, ledger battery so what I'm thinking of doing is putting the little panel above this here somewhere uh, run the wire through here so it comes out inside this panel and just dangle here then when I want to charge up all I got to do is just pull the wire through and connect that up to me solar panel so that's the idea and obviously the leisure battery I'm going to stick under here on this side here so I've got a work out how I'm going to get the wires through but probably just put them through the bottom of this spare wheel um, part here or halfway up through there put grommet in just like we did before but we'll sort something out that's the plan actually I can just come down the inside like I did this side just run it down the inside the cable goes across here because inside there obviously is hollow what goes down and that goes straight into the van through there to the inside of the bus so I can just put the cable through and put a grommet through just to stop any fumes and stuff coming up and that should sort that out so that's the plan so I've got to take out this screw here does nothing I don't know what that was for can't remember now if I take that out, already got a hole for the cable and I'll find a grommet and we'll feed the cable through there for the controller. Right, let's go on with that now. That's really hot today. So 
hottest day so far, but they say tomorrow and Friday are going to be even hotter. So I ain't in no hurry, I'm just going to poodle along, see what I can do. As you can see, I've got a box of grommets here. I'm going to be using this one, so I'm just going to drill a hole, put the grommet in, and then feed the wire through it just to keep the um, fumes out. Maybe even water, who knows? You can see, I've got the grommet in, and then I put the wire through it. Another reason why I use it is so the wire doesn't scrape on the metal and obviously uh, it'd end up shorting out so that's going to be long enough to go into the controller here somewhere and then the other end like I said just sits here I think I've got a cap for that somewhere I'll just let that sit in there and then when I need to use my solar power just pull that out and plug it in that's the plan don't know if it's a good idea yet, but we will see. I can't see why it wouldn't be, but I'm quite happy with it. Right, so now we've got the battery connection. Need to put another hole through the van, but they ain't gonna hurt through there, are they? Um, so this one, We'll go down to these crocodile clips what will go onto my battery um, I had to put a join in there as you know I soldered it um, put some heat shrink on it but I also put some tape around it just to doubly check with it we know that water can come down there this battery tray is in good order for the battery so now I need to drill another hole. It's got to work out where I want it. So there's another hole. I'm going to put a grommet in for the cable to go through. Not this cable. I'm going to bring the other cable up, put through there, and then wire it into this. I just add another fork where the cable goes down to the battery. I think I'm going to put a fuse in. So I just found this. Um, fuse carrier so I'll wire that in find a fuse for it might make it a little bit safer right so I've got the cable through there with that grommet ready to wire into the controller the other end the terminal connections have come through the bottom here and the fuse will be here put it around this breather pipe just to keep it away right so I'm going to put my battery in here but obviously um, there's nothing to stop it falling over not very much doubt that would fall over but you need to make sure that it doesn't and I'm going to situate it so the live is this end so there's plenty of room the neutral here so even if it touches on here that wouldn't affect nothing because that will be earthed through the frame anyway so I just put the battery in check the fit but like I say there's nothing to stop it moving about on the battery tray and chipping so see what I can find just to try and hold it down so it won't tip over in the event of the van swaying over somehow see what I can find um, picked up this bracket onto the battery tray here hold that quite firm move a little bit but that's not going to go anywhere put me negative onto the battery I'm not going to put the positive on obviously because I haven't sorted up inside so we'll go up there now and have a look find this little cap off another connection I had so obviously I can pop it in there and I tuck it down inside there and I won't short out on nothing. Cool. Right in at the top till we'll connect this battery up now. Obviously a fuse there so I can get to it if I need to. Let's have a look. Right. If you look along here that will say how much charge the battery's going at? It's only on 
one at the minute so could do with a bit of charge this here load means that could go to this charger and also out of here I could connect that which I probably will do to a couple of LED lights the 12 volt uh, cigarette light to take off I shall just connect to the battery to use for my fridge at a later date but at the minute um, that's out there so I'm just gonna get my solar panel which is in the garage there I'll plug that into here and we'll see whether that charges as you can see I've just connected it here into this cable what I'll leave in the bottom it's a little bit windy today and a bit cloudy but at the minute the sun is over the cloud it's fairly steady on that stand and oh, if you can see here it's showing uh, it's charging so all is good so now I'm gonna obviously do a takeoff from here for um, some lights um, have the 10, 10 amp really isn't much we're gonna need in here really like I said it's only mainly to charge your phones and I want to run my little cool box off it we'll try and experiment with that later where I'll run it all day just see whether that takes that battery down that much with the solar power on but that'll be a later date when we go camp and we'll we'll give that a try and see what happens but at the minute please with that that's all in place um, eventually I'm going to put some more covering on here so that'll be tidied up but, but just for the minute if you're wondering why this one is charging it's actually plugged into me extension lead and that's me starting battery I just top it up now and again while I'm here so like I said when I push that button then it says load that'll be the power to this and there'll be a 12 volt power here covering the sun still got some charge going on. I don't know how many um, amps it's pushing out probably any an amp or something like that but that, that's fine that's enough to um, put a bit of charge in the battery what's intended for uh, my plan is is to eventually panel on here and a panel or two on the front on the top the only reason I've done this is for now as an experiment to see how it keeps the battery charge but if I'd have mounted the panel here we park in the shade or if the roof's up and the sun's coming that way then that panel wouldn't get any sun so I think if I get one on the front and one on the back at least that should always get a little power to it but that'll all be at a later date but obviously like I said this is set up so I can move that wherever if we're parked a little bit under a tree hopefully I can move that towards the front of the van still pick up the sun I can move it to that side of the van like where it is now if we've got um, got an awning up or the gazebo and a stopping the sun coming onto the solar I can move that one but later on like I said I will I will get some on the roof but for this test now and for the next time we go camping the trial will be with this right the next job's going to be is to just wire in a couple of lights we have these lights here what we found was when we left the, the van for a couple of weeks the batteries are draining them we have to come out this time but I thought if I could have some from what run off this then that should always be ready well that's the plan eh and a good thing about having this connected just on crocodile clips is that if I'm gonna leave it for any period of time I can just disconnect them and then shouldn't be draining anything from the battery at all I'm just going to get my phone charger 
check that it charges my phone. My phone charger cable plugged in, so if I turn on the power, here we go. That's charging, obviously, my phone's almost charged anyway, it's 94%. But that's the plan, so when we go away, we can now charge our phones without worrying about having little battery packs and like I said I'll run a light off at a couple of little lights see what I can find in the garage at the minute for temporary um, got some wire up here I don't even know what it's for I'm guessing that was for some kind of speaker system at one point to find out where they go but might be able to uh, on some low powered LED lights through those. I'll have a check out what I've got. So there we go, there's a the little control unit all set up. Um, obviously I've got the battery secure now, so at a later date I'll be fixing some little LED lights. Just got to work out where I'm going to put them. Probably just have them at the back either side here. Like I say, we have got these battery ones, but might as well use that power from there. The main reason I wanted it is because I want to use um, the, the battery for charging our phones. And I want to try and run my cool box off it and just see whether that will keep charged using the solar power. Just say again at this point, I'm not telling anyone how to do anything. I'm just showing you how I've done it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.